goddamn ghost cats here. He took my f in here with us. Oh, that was loud. Whistle pig. Three of them over there. Got the old raspberries all divided there. Like to spread the bushes apart to keep the airflow through there. Cuts down on mildew. Mold. Hi. What? Huh? Nothing. And we got the blueberry bush moved over here. Picked that up last year. Didn't know where to put it. I stuck it in this old garden that we're not using. In one of the old raspberry bushes. This thing needs to be weeded big time. Where's he at? Can't see shit. Rhododendron rhododendrons almost gone by. Looking pretty sad. Chocolate mint is taking over the garden here. I got some pumpkins. Or no, watermelons and pumpkins. I know watermelons and I don't know what the freak. I forgot what these were. Watermelons and something. Oh, spaghetti squash. Alrighty. Can't find it. Hello. Right there. Well, just oh, there it is. The tag right there. Spaghetti squash. And then half a dozen different tomato plants. Eight plants. And some basil in a pot, some lettuce. And sage that needs to be weeded. There's grass and whatever else is growing in there. Why? Why don't you go up and cock my chimney while you're up there? No oh, thanks. Anyways, can you tell I'm bored? It's 2 o'clock on a Tuesday. Working nights this week and it's extremely exhausting. The older I get, the night shift sucks. Vacation can't come fast enough. I got uh, the entire week of Fourth of July off, which is cool. We're gonna uh, do some camping, but not in the camper. We're going to Old Orchard Beach, Maine, and we're gonna go in a tent for three nights try it out before I haul that camper up there. I have issues with the truck with the trailer hitch that I don't want to bring that big camper all the way up the highway until I get some welding done on it. We hadn't been up there in a couple of years so it's time to get up there. Where? She's 
just looking at me right now like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling YouTube people that we're going to Maine in a couple oh. weeks. Fourth of July. Fifth of July, actually. We're going up on the fifth, which is a Tuesday, and we're staying till Friday, possibly Saturday or Sunday. I don't know. In a tent. Providing somebody makes reservations on time. Huh? Talking to me? Providing somebody makes reservations on time. What? <laughs> we have technology. Did you make reservations yet? <laughs> you asshole. No, I didn't call back. No, but I will. Sometime today. Hi, Edith. Who's talking to you? Hey. What the hell is it? A bib? It's a painting. Oh my god. Who made it? Me. For real? For real. Freehand? Yes. Come on. I drew it. Off of a picture that I took on my camera. Come on. Yeah. And then I painted it. It's got the branches. Chickadee. The whole tree. Yeah. The clouds. There's spots on it. Not too bad, not too bad. Thanks. Need to frame it. I don't know if there's a frame big enough. You go to the framing freaking antler down there in Pittsfield and they'll make you up one. Like custom make frames? Yeah, you go to Michael's, they, they make one for you. It's amazing. We should go there. Looks good. Did you get an A? I did. Nice. Maybe I'll raffle it off. YouTube. <laughs> I just thought of something I can show you that I got for Scout Camp. I picked up. I never made a video on it, so I'll do a little unboxing on it right now because I just looked at it and I figure, okay, this will be better than this horseshit that I've shown you so far. Anyways, I got this little portable solar briefcase give you a little s stats on it here portable power source 12 volt tools and small electronics maintains vehicle batteries and emergency lighting power you guys can pause and read as you want got this little uh, case little different connectors and stuff in it. I picked that up. A lot of it already come with it, but this was only another five bucks. I bought that too. But let me uh, get the tripod out, set it up, and take it apart for you. Hey. All right, what we have here like I said Oh, what the frick that is. Off the truck, maybe? I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Let's take it out of the case. Hopefully it's not too windy. I don't think it is. Sounds like somebody's got a chainsaw going. Got the little battery terminal thing you plug into. And uh, solar charger power batteries on some of your hand drills and 
saws and whatnot. This is actually a pretty good size. If you want to do a size comparison, these tile right here are 12, 12 by 12 inches. So that's a good 20 inches, 22 inches maybe long. And a good 12 inches wide. Then it up the doubles open, so got your cord. There's a setting for twelve to twenty-four. Switch it to twelve to twenty-four volt. There's your cord, your standard male and female. With all your different options. I actually got a USB uh, cigarette lighter thing in here and it didn't come with it, that's just something I put in here. It's got the cigarette lighter, adapter. Um, you can actually reverse it into your vehicle and charge your batteries in your vehicle. You got a little uh, battery pack charger. I don't know what that is. Oh, just some more adapters for the uh, charging up your batteries, utility batteries. And I, like I said, I got a whole other set of that stuff here, which I didn't have to buy because the kit comes with it. So, there they are. It's uh, 20. Oh. Well, I think screen wise as far as uh, 12, 16, 18 inches by 26 inches of solar panel there after you open it all up. This is like I said, this is going to come in handy, a scout can. Um, I'll bring that battery pack that I can use. Um, there's a, I use a CPAP uh, for sleep apnea. Um, whether I bring that to camp this year or not, I don't know. My other assistant does uh, use his. So at least we can keep things charged up through that way. Good for charging the cell phones and whatnot. And have them, so. If anybody else has ever seen any of this stuff, this I got at the, uh, the uh, Harbor or uh, yeah Harbor Freights. I don't remember what I paid for it. It was earlier in the winter. Um, anybody else ever have one or use one? Please leave a comment. Let me know if they're any good or not. If there's been any problems with them. Like I said, I've never used it yet. I've tried it. It does work. It does charge, but using it out on long term, that'll come up first week of August when we go to scout camp. I might bring it to our trip in Maine next month. Actually, I know I'm going to bring it there, so I'll do a review there. Got a little stand with it. You know, you can prop it up into the sun different couple different ways. Uh, using these app, these little stand. So, there's two of them, one at each door. So you can. Oh, let's do that.
kind of gives it the old, uh, you know, up off the ground and pointed towards the sun wherever. You can rotate it towards the sun, obviously, instead of laying it flat. It utilizes the legs there. It's got different adjustments for different heights, obviously. So, yeah, this is going to be kind of cool, interesting. There's uh, cheaper ones out there. There's more expensive ones out there. Some of the ones that you get to the hiking supply stores, like at uh, 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 can't even think of the name of it now. Whatever. They 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 got some expensive ones. They're different material or lighter, and obviously for the backpacker. It's it's heavy. It's not something you want to carry around in a backpack by no means, but it's good to throw in your vehicle for a camp out. So there, if uh, anybody's got any questions or can guide me in the right direction on how to use this thing properly, by all means, um, you know, let me know. If it's crap, it is what it is. I can't return it now. I've had it for quite a few months now. But so, Cool. Thanks. Put it inside the box. If anybody's gonna break it, it'll probably be me. That's how I roll. I tend to be a goof when I'm working nights. And yes, I'm on nights.